Hey guys, Joyce and Anthony aka JJ and before I start the line art updates I just wanted to say really quickly that I am running a giveaway on my channel. Some of the prizes include a one year subscription to the Blender Studio, a one year subscription to Schoolism and there's more prizes. It's open to anyone and it runs from November 25th to December 9th. So I'm going to put it at the top right. It's really easy to apply. Now to the line art updates. To show you the update, I'm in a past version of Blender. I'm in Blender 3.2. So I just added the line art to the collection. And now if I go down to the modifier properties, you see those options under edge types. But in Blender 3.4, there's actually more options available. So now let's go to Blender 3.4. Okay, now I'm in Blender 3.4 and I'm going to add the line art to my collection. So now if I go to the modifier properties tab again, there is these edge types, but there's also this new option light reference. And we'll come back to that in a second. Okay, so some of the options are um, cleared out. I actually need to go back to light reference and select the light that I have in my scene. So now if I go back to edge types, the parts that were previously cleared out are there. Okay, I'm just gonna change the thickness a little bit. Okay, so now under illumination filtering, there are four options. None, illuminated, only selecting lines from illuminated regions. Okay, the next option is shaded. Only selecting lines from shaded regions, okay. And then the last option, illuminated in closed shapes. Selecting lines from lit regions and make the combination of contour, light contour, and shadow lines in closed shapes. Okay, I'm gonna turn the illumination filtering back to none. And under create, you have three options, contour, silhouette, and individual silhouette. Hmm, just playing with the settings, light contour, cast shadow. Oh, okay, puts the line art around the cast shadow. What if I play with the settings from 140? Oh. If you wanna play with this further, if you go to the developer notes, and I'm gonna go there right now, there's this page that goes more in depth about the line art shadow functionality and there's also patches that they release with blend files. So the patch for this functionality for line art. So there's all these options and I am going to go to their test file and I'm going to open up their rat blend file made by one of the developers. Okay, this was made by Mr. Wu. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this note. Now I am gonna to go to the line art and go to the modifier properties tab and play around with the settings like I did previously. I'm gonna change the thickness so it's a little bit easier to see. Let me turn off light contour. Oh, see here, you can kind of see it take effect, okay? Just to let you know again, I am going to link the developer notes on, this is the line art shadow functionality, and there is actually a, another page that talks more about this. 
and that is the line art shadow functionality their design notes so i'll be linking both of these in the description well i'm gonna go back to blender and finish playing around with this this is joyce and anthony aka jj until next time